I know I said that it's over between us. But here I am at a wedding in a tux, surrounded by all of these people who are just proudly sharing their love with one another. And I just keep thinking that I'm standing with the wrong man because all I want to do is share my love with you. So what do you think? You want to give it another shot? I do. I love you, Oliver. I always have. Nick, wait! I'm, I'm sorry. Please go ahead. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? You can still get married. Mary Fish. Buchanan resident? Nigel Neville. Ah, Neville. How is old Blighty? We have a situation here, cousin. A rather colourful character named Vickers turned up claiming he's Bo Buchanan's son. Yes, quite. Why didn't anyone tell me? We tried to pretend it isn't true. Oh, I can understand that. You know, I'm so grateful to you for recommending me for this job. But these Buchanans are... Well, they're, they're a handful. True. But they're still the finest people I've ever had the privilege of serving. Thanks for being straight up with me. Sean... I better go. Sean, I, I can't stand it if we can't still be friends. I don't know if I can do that. Of course, I understand. You you don't owe me anything. I hope you find what you're looking for. Whoever he is, he better treat you right. Or I will make him sorry. Does Todd know? No. But once Blair figured out, I knew I had to tell him. So why didn't you? She lost her memory in an accident. Oh, right. Well, what if she gets that little tidbit back? No. Apparently she already has, but for some reason she's decided not to tell him. Why? I don't know. Bottom line is she wants Todd back. Yeah, but you have his kid. I know. Todd loves his children. I'm kind of hoping that once he finds out, he'll be thrilled. <laughs> so thrilled that she kept his kid from him for 15 years. But I'm not a hardened cynic. I'm a bit of a wishful thinker. Don't tell anyone, Eli. You really love Todd, don't you? God help me, I do. No matter what you say, I know you love Taya. I'll get over it. Well, maybe you shouldn't get over it, you know? Maybe before you toss her out, you should try and find out what's going on. You mean like hire a PI or something? Whatever. It takes to get the truth. I don't want to talk about her anymore. Okay. Well... You don't have to leave. I mean, I'm not crazy about sitting around in an empty house. What do you want to do? We can eat Halloween candy, watch TV. <laughs> All right, sold. Cool. Bring the candy. Ooh, my favorite. Thank you. Good Lord. What's Roxanne doing there? No. Oh, shut up. Hey, listen. You two guys love each other. Come on. Seal the deal. It's not what you want, is it? No. Not like this. And we should probably go on a date first. <laughs> probably so. All righty then. Okay, Reverend. You're on. For thousands of years, lovers have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. The rings say that uh, even in your uniqueness, you've chosen to be bound together, that your love has a substance as well as a soul, a present as well as a past. What do you say, you and I, we go upstairs and we heat it up? 
that despite its occasional time. sorrow, love continues for what? to be a circle to run for of the barricades if your heart's not in it. Delight. I've said I'm gay. It won't go away. I'm here to stay. I called the hospital in Seattle every hour looking for word on Matthew, but they wouldn't tell me anything. Because she's not family. Unlike me, I'm family now. I thought something happened to him. I was afraid... I'm maybe... sorry, Destiny. It was not our intention to worry you. And that's when Big Brother Dave called and found out that Matthew had never been to Seattle. You really kidnapped the kid, huh? He's our son. We didn't kidnap him. I just want to see Matthew. Come on, Dad. You know what it's like, don't you? When you can't be with the person that you love, it can make a mess of everything. Yes, it can. So, you'll tell me where he is? I have a message from Dorian. Message one. David, it's Langston. Dorian's still in love with you. You're the one that she wants, so get your butt down here to Angel Square before you lose her to another woman. Pardon me, sir, but I have a message from Landview. My cousin Nigel suggests you turn on the telly immediately. Okay, okay. To what? Uh, the international news is carrying it. All right. All what, right. what, what is the it? What's the it we're referring to? Now, as I join these couples in holy matrimony in the sight of God and oh in the sight of this community, I hope that all loving couples will hold each other in a kind of tender reverence. We'll honor love in all its forms. Because love will not be denied just because someone thinks you don't have a right to it. And those who have the courage to risk their love never lose. Even when they feel betrayed and lost, even when it feels futile. Love has a way of reigniting and reanimating our lives, of surfacing at a time when we least expect it, especially in people who only needed a chance to show you you could shine. Love is our pulse, our breath. And no matter who you find yourselves in love with, it's always a gift. So cherish and celebrate your love as couples and as partners for life. You may kiss your spouse. Come on.